Hello and welcome to the last of my tutorials for the Live Control Tool template for Lima. And this time I'm going to talk about the modulate view. A lot of people find that quite difficult, even though it's actually quite simple once you know what you can do and how. That's the view. And here you see four balls. They can move around as well. And um, those can be mapped to two parameters, one on the x axis and the other on the y axis. So in total, you can map up to eight parameters. OK, so first up, we'd open the device select to choose the device that we want to map controls to. Let's go with the warm river blanc. Then you need to choose which ball you want to select and which axis, so 1 and x is correct. And let's map the x to the k time. So we have to press map, and then it shows mapped and then y to dry wet, for example. OK, and then now you can take another ball, so we select two. And then, yeah, we could choose another device. Yeah, let's stick with a saturator. And again, we could map maybe the drive to x okay now it's mapped okay so now we can tap device control again and now we see the modulation options so we've got here the LFO Physics, Recorder, and Presets. So first of all, we can just move the balls around however you like. So let's just start playing something. OK. And for now, the LFO is actually tur turned off. So what we could do is first choose a ball and then choose a waveform. So let's say it's the sine wave. And you see that it's already moving around. We can try to grab it, move it somewhere else. OK, and then we can choose the time base, which means how quickly it actually moves. And then also the range, so how far the parameter is turned to the extremes, to minimax. And then, of course, we can do that with different balls as well. Move it somewhere first. We can choose a different waveform as well. Let's make the range smaller. Maybe turn the first one off.
Okay, so we can do that with both. Okay, next up is physics. And there we have three settings, friction, speed and attraction. And you can simply throw the balls around. And as you see now it's all stopping really quickly. You can reduce the friction for that. And the attraction keeps high. For crazy effects, turn up the speed as well. That's the best settings for crazy stuff. And then choose the diff second ball for example as well. So that's physics. Next up's recorder. And uh, here you can actually draw basically automation in the XY field. And um, how you do that is you have four views where you can re record the movement of the balls. And uh, you can either record all the movements of all the balls or just several ones and then you can switch between views as well and play them. Um, let's do that, so we choose A and ball 1. Okay, and it automatically stops recording and when you click on full screen editor, you actually change settings. And then just click play and it starts playing. And when you want to record another ball, you just press the record again. Now you could just play both. And you can also change the playback speed. So that's recorder. And then last but not least, we have presets. And here we can just simply move the balls wherever we want them. And then click on write preset. And then the preset number. Move them around again. You can overwrite them as well. And then you can assign them to A or B and move between them or crossfade between them. So you just press A. Oh, let's. And then assign B as well. You can do things like that. Or just skip between them.
and so on and so forth. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.